All right, someone asked me to uh, present a visualization of uh, our terror management theory, anxiety of death, how I would present it. And since I'm coming down with the flu, I figure I do it now before I get too uh, weak. Um, first of all, think of it as a water balloon, a water balloon representing our death anxiety. Uh, so the, um, the uh, culture of beliefs and... Uh, your self-esteem, uh, which is based on those cultural beliefs, could be represented as a light hologram covering uh, or doing a, as good a job as possible in covering that uh, water balloon, okay? Now, uh, a mortality salience um, experiment or um, reminder of death, what that would do is it would expand that water balloon in one part of the balloon. Uh, so now that hologram is not no longer uh, covering that uh, that part of the balloon, uh, and so what it needs to do is that after it expands, the hologram, like I described uh, in the past, uh, it needs about fifteen minutes after the reminder of death uh, for your belief system to be uh, strengthened uh, in the form of, say, if you're a patriotic individual. Uh, and somebody is against your nation, uh, you will show after those 15 minutes, after a reminder of death, more hostility toward that individual. Or really, it, it would be a strengthening of any belief system that makes up your identity. Patriotism is just a convenient way of uh, testing it, but uh, there's many others. And uh, and so that the hologram, this hypothetical light hologram covering the la the uh, water balloon, would expand in that particular part about uh, after after about fifteen minutes, uh, and so um, same thing with the death thought accessibility. So instead of the water balloon expanding, if the uh, if the hologram is made to be smaller in a if it's a this is a dimple in in this hologram in a particular part, uh, so now the balloon is partly exposed. And so what that's going to show is um, uh, that you have uh, more uh, uh, accessibility to the thoughts of death. They come more readily to mind, and that is because your belief system that is protecting you from this death anxiety has now been undermined. So in other words, you have not been explicitly reminded of death, but your belief system that is protecting you from death anxiety it has now been undermined, so that balloon is becoming a little more exposed. Uh, so all of this, once again, is an indication that um, uh, these experiments uh, don't measure the totality of your death anxiety. What they do is, is measure uh, this uh, slight increase or decrease uh, depending on, uh, on the mortality salience or death thought accessibility uh, that you experience. And so what um, it's hypothesized is that at the bottom of all of this, uh, the entirety or a, a very large part of your identity, of your self-esteem and of our cultural beliefs that our uh, identity is based on uh, are there uh, to uh, quell our death anxiety. Our, um, you know, culture serves a death-denying function primarily.